what it do, flight crew, FTC, flight team stand up. Yes, sir. You know who I am. You know who the kid <laughs> is. How you do that? Go like you taught me yesterday. You went like what? That thing you taught me yesterday. Oh, so you went like hold on. No, it has like to that. go when you do that. Kill that slaying competition done. No, you have to. That's exactly like, what you I gotta did. jiggle with it like a little bit. You gotta That's like, what I did. I like, like breeze. No, you look like you fucking man. So I, like I, I, kill, I, kill uh -uh, that. I, I don't good. care. I did it better than everybody else that ever did it. So, we're gonna answer all of the questions that you guys have been wanting to know, dying to ask us. Oh, no, it's crazy. I wasn't even gonna do this, but I had too many people begging us to do it. That right. Okay, so the first question: Why did y'all break up? Um, it's because I felt like she didn't know how to like cut off certain like boys that I didn't especially like mess with. Um, no. no. Let me talk. The question was for no. me. No, it the was for both was... of us. It was for both of us. Okay, you go ahead and tell your story. Okay, and so she couldn't stop entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Certain men. It was a couple of attitude problems, and it was just like you know a couple of other minor things, but mainly it was just her entertaining and just like me not feeling like I was a like special one if it made a sense. So I just got up and left. I felt like. Kamani was controlling. Controlling? And yes, I felt like you were controlling. And then I felt like you was insecure about a lot of things that you didn't have insecure. to be insecure about. Yes, I felt like you was doing too much at times. Like, at the end of the day, if you my nigga, and you know you my nigga, you the one who I'm talking to every night, you the one who I'm laying with every night, then you, it's like you knew these things. So, like, I didn't understand why was you so... Just like, oh, you can't be friends with this person. Oh, you can't talk to because this person. Because out of simple respect of as a man, oh, there's just certain you, boundaries you have as a man that you have to put the foot down so you can ensure certain things happen. Because you can't only... Okay, but at the end of the day, I'm not a cheater. You know that. I, I don't cheat. No, but it's not even about cheating. You just being around certain guys or whatever in general and, and, and everything, I know how niggas is. So that's that's the thing. It's also how people <laughs> drive. It's not right, certain how you drive. Trust, no, no, it's not, like, it's not how you me. drive. It's how other people can drive. That's what I'm pretty much saying that's what you don't get no what you know, i'm telling, I have to what i'm telling you is if you trusted me i feel like there's a lot of trust issues if you trusted me then you should know that at the end of the day your girl is not going to do something that i wouldn't want you to do to me yeah so but I everybody can like say that just, and then you just get you end up getting heartbroken no, i don't no, want to take that you, risk that you can't do okay that. so you can't say you you never tried you never gave me that opportunity you never trusted me to to see if i was going to do something you just instantly i just thought i was doing something that wasn't true there was also like certain <laughs> proof and everything like that I don't know what wait what is that all right next question next question next question you know come on next question because you, you. <clears throat> um do y'all see yourselves getting back together? I don't know why y'all keep asking that. Like, really? oh, to like, to, no, no, can I say something real okay. quick? This is gonna be like an answer that I feel like sums up everything. At the end of the day, we can't see in the future. We don't know what's gonna happen. If we decide to get back together, then we do. If we don't, then we don't. But right now, where we both at <clears throat> in our careers and just mentally, we're cool with being friends. We're cool with just chilling. You get what I'm saying? Like it's not nothing too much, yes. nothing too less. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little vibe. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't want people to be like trying to force something to happen that if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. So exactly. I mean, I was that was a good sum up, right? Yeah, I guess you, you took the words. What I was gonna say. Um. Okay. So the next. This is what the fans want to know, and I honestly. Uh -huh. So you have to do this. All of our, all of my fans have been upset because they said, "How can I forgive someone who disrespected me publicly, called me whole, like all type of stuff?" So they said, in order for them to be okay with us being cool, you have to publicly apologize. All right. I mean, like, I do want to apologize to like not only her family but like Ty as a whole for like coming at her so sideways, you know what I'm saying, through the videos. I will say this, like truth be told, like no matter how or whoever says what, like 
I say like 90% of those videos was like troll videos, but it was just like, it got to a point where, you know, people didn't know and they were put in an uncomfortable position. And then I did come off a little bit aggressive. Like a lot of those jokes, you know what I'm saying, did have true meaning to them, which is, you know, they can have, jokes can have under hate between them and, and then lines and everything like that. But overall, I want to like apologize for like disrespecting you if you felt bad about it at any given chance. And I didn't truthfully mean that way about you. Like I was just mad. So you was just saying stuff out of hate, just because you just mad. I mean, like it was just more of added on, but I wasn't most of the time. I know, but I never called you anything bad. I never. The, okay, the only thing I called you said, said. You, you called me a bald headed scallywag. You called me also. <laughs> okay, that ain't. That's not bad stuff though. That's just like little names. Ho is a strong term. But I mean, your intro is, is you know kind of rubs off. So it's like, you got something by the way, I'm right. There you go, I got you. I got you. Okay, but that intro has been the same for I don't know how long. That was something Mandation made up so long ago, just playing, being funny. Because at the end of the day, Mandation like to do stuff that other people not going to do. So when Mandation made up that intro, we really made it to be funny just to say it. But it actually took and all of our fans started saying it and they loved the intro they wanted us to keep it we been was gonna change the intro so don't try to blame my intro on why you called me a hoe in the video that don't have nothing to do with it look just say said, you was look, in your feelings I was, all right, you look, was mad about a couple sometimes things sometimes as a guy you know this is a mess to the guys out there you just gotta give the woman a w look i'm gonna just put the flag down I apologize what I'm saying for making you see, feel like a hoe or calling any of you out your name and you know coming at your family. I don't mean that way about you. Like, nice and simple. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Cause ain't no hoe for here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the next question, um, Did y'all miss each other? I did miss him. I'm not gonna lie. I did. And the only reason why I miss him because we y'all just don't understand. Like, well, we show y'all on camera is what we show y'all on camera. But when we was like off of camera, we took trips. Like, we did a lot of fun stuff. Like a lot of our times, yeah, remember that moments wasn't on was camera. even recorded. Exactly. So you we know, had a lot of fun. You always reminisce about that. So that definitely crossed. You remember me. that time when we went to Florida and we went for the first time we had got on uh the scooter bike and you oh. fell off? Nah, look, if you would have heard the pain in her voice, she wouldn't be left right now. She, Bro, if you would have heard the way she screamed, she sounded like somebody took something from her. Like, yo, you was panicking. Don't be trying to laugh it off. You but because that was just like so scary. Like, we was on like the little scooters in uh, Florida, the ones that you can just like rent. And he just fucking came around the corner. We was all running the light. We shouldn't even been running the light. We had ran the light. And Kamani, he didn't want to run the light. He wanted to wait for the light. And so everybody, me, Dejan, quit was mad. And we like, damn, this nigga taking too long. And so he get on the bike. He ended up like, fuck it, I'm going to just run the light. And when he ran the light, it was raining that day too. So the road was slippery. And when he turned, he just flipped off the whole scooter. That shit was crazy. Yeah. I was like, that oh was so my fast. Gosh. Uh, like I saw you actually fall and hit the ground. I was like, oh, like I, I was, I thought something. I thought you, I didn't know what happened. I thought you were like hurt. Really Worry, bad. Ty. Look at you. Okay. Um, somebody said the same question. I just want to tell y'all, I love y'all. <laughs> love you too, whoever it is. Okay, this is a good one. Uh, what we have to tell each other was our best physical. Feature about each other. Um, your smile, cause like your smile, like it, it brings joy, you know. And then, do we get like a second feature, favorite feature? Yeah. Your butt. <laughs> Why did I knew you was gonna say that? I knew you I had was to gonna make say it, that. You know, you know, my your go. I would have to say your cringiness, and that's not. That's <laughs> like a. Uh, a roast it's not even a feature that is a feature because that comes with you like but i like your cringiness it's funny i'm not cringy though i'm you like you do be doing cringy stuff no i don't and i love your energy too like you're you're excited like you're not like one of those people who like boring like when i every day that we get together i can always expect something new or something for me to be like oh this 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but cringiness is not no feature. Do not like make that you know, y'all. I'm not. That is uh, is. I no. am far from cringy. Okay, weirdness. That's better. better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> if you don't don't call me no cringy in the DMs, I'm you don't have to fight. Uh, during our relationship, did you cheat or think about cheating? Nope. I ain't think about it either. Nope. Because it's like, Ty, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just saying, don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't. Don't do that. Come on, Ty. That's the reason. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like, don't. I mean, the don't past is me the past. No, the past don't is the past. Like, I was really the most faithful, like, brown skin. Like, brown skins are the faithful What ones. the hell do you being brown skin got to do with anything? Brown Gosh. skins never cheat. <laughs> brown skins never entertain other women. All they do is sit there and pray. No, neither one of us cheated and thought about cheating. Okay, so uh, this is the last question because the camera finished out. Uh -huh. Would y'all make a song together? Hmm. 